Hey there, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, tutorial on how to load R3 sounds into your R3 through the computer and the uh, R3 sound editor program. I had some problems doing this, so I thought I'd put this out. This will be quick, pretty quick. Basically, you want to go, obviously, go to Korg.com to get the, the newest sound editor program and also the R3 bonus program, which contains uh, sound patches for the uh, MS-2000, 2000B, and the Micro Korg converted for the R3. So you can have any of the, those sounds in your R3 from those other synths. So I've done that already. Um, I also got the uh, drivers here, right up here. I just loaded those in. Yeah, so those are already loaded in. So you got your R3 factory presets, MS2KB, MS2K, and the micro cork. So I'll load in the micro cork sounds, and I'm basically just using a a simple uh, M Audio uh, MIDI to USB converter. Just plugged in, in and out, obviously. And uh, yeah, so I just want to go up here, go to Micro Korg Factory Presets, double click, go to my window. An open MIDI monitor window. So it's showing right here that my MIDI in is coming through, but there's no MIDI out. So to select MIDI out, just click any one of the programs in the program list and exit it. And go back to your MIDI monitor window, and now you can see my MIDI out is set. You can just close that window. Go up to MIDI and just, I just do write all programs. Are you sure? Yes. Now, see, it says writing in progress. And what I found is it'll stop sometimes. We'll see if it loads. Yeah, it says write all program failed timeout. But you see here, Well, hard to see in there. There we go. Program A1 is Transy A. And if we go to my R3, you can see it's been put in. So even though it says it's timed out, the sounds are all in there. So basically, it's that simple. Um, and obviously, you can put your factory presets back in or use the MS2KB, any, any of them. Uh, so hopefully, this helps you guys. Okay. Bye for now.